first graders, did you know that you can add in any order? Addition does not have to happen a certain direction for it to still give you the same answer. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so if I am sitting here and I have three cubes, one, two, three, and I decide I want to add two more cubes, one, two, I could write it as a number sentence. Three plus two. How many cubes do I have all together? From beginning to end, I have five. I have three first and two second. Watch what happens. So if I take this stick I created and I flip it, it no longer shows three and two. Instead, it shows two plus three. But what has stayed the same? From beginning to end, I still have five cubes. My sum stays the same no matter which order my add ends are in. I can have a three and a two, and no matter what, it's going to equal five. Let's look at another one. Okay. This time, I'm going to start with five cubes. How many cubes do I have to begin with? I have five. So that is my first add end. If I add more, I can show that as my second add end. I added one, two, three more. Notice that when I'm adding, I'm joining the numbers together. I started with five and added three, joined together beginning to end, I have a total of eight. Five plus three equals eight. If I take my stick and flip it, nothing changed on the beginning to end. It's the same size it was before. It still equals eight from beginning to end. But I can see my pieces are now different. Instead of starting with five, I have started with three, and I joined onto it a group of five. Three plus five equals eight. So I can see here that the add ends stayed the same. They just are in a different order. My sum doesn't change. It will remain eight every time I put five and three together, even if I put the three first. You can add in any order to get the same sum. So what does that mean? That means in your brain, if it's easier for you to think of five and add two more, five, six, seven, you can do that even if the question is two plus five. It will help as we're moving forward and learning new strategies to know that you can add in any order. Okay, that will help you with your math today. Have fun.